that is. I'll take uh All right, so we have, both teams have repeat numbers. So there's two 32s here, two 30s on this one. So now we gotta figure out how we're gonna identify them. So this is 32 blonde, and then I think on the other team they have a 30 white shorts, 30 black shorts, so it's like, I just make it a little bit harder for everybody. Greg, by the way. I'm Laura. Laura, okay, I think I have you at 8 o'clock. So. Yep, 8 o'clock. Your first ever ball game in your life, right? Yep, yeah. I think, yeah, I think <laughs> Fritz is going to work with her. Yeah, and right, we talked to Fritz, so I think we're going to shadow. What's his name? You see the other New York Ash, yeah. It's got a patch on his arm? What is that? Is that a play? Oh, it looks like it. What is that? That's pretty high up there, it huh? That's pretty high up there. Yeah. Okay. All right. On your jersey, it tells you how where the flag should be. You know, it's usually like two fingers. This is like way up there. But, okay. So, him as a trail, right? Yep. We were talking about walking the line. Yeah. Watch it. He's like way on the court right now. Should have been towards the side. If he was walking the line when he's down here, he'd be right near the sideline. But he wasn't out there with us. This is Lake Country Lutheran. They went to state last year, the white. Great, great school, I absolutely love them. Coach over there, you give him a technical foul last time we had him. Guys I work with are missing calls, he's getting pissed. Do I have to do like that count for like yes. Okay, so when coming up there, it's 10 seconds, right? One 1,000, two 1,000, and you'll have to just work on it, just like one 1,000, two 1,000. Then, when they have the ball and don't have the ball, it's five counts, one. If they switch, try it, all right? Usually out here, everything is moving so fast that if you're not counting here, you're gonna be okay. Get used to counting up. Rarely will you have a 10 second violation back here because they're moving up pretty fast, right? But give it a shot, you know, just, yep. Because you just never know when they might happen. You know, all of a sudden you, you're not doing it, then the guy's back there having problems, can't get the ball up. Two person has a tough call to see, right? So he has to kind of guesstimate. In terms of the foul? No, well, foul or where the ball went out of bounds. Okay. He really couldn't see, he touched it last. And you have to just make a decision, you know? It looks like he just couldn't stand there and go, I don't know. Yeah. You know, it kind of, a, it looked like this and go with it.
Got to blow the whistle, right? The ball should be dead. He forgot to blow the whistle. See, he should be walking. He should be down towards the end of that line. I got to talk to him about that. Got it. See subs, blow your whistle. Blow the subs in, right? If you see subs, boop, put the hand to him and then let him know when, the, when it's clear because then he'll bring the ball in. Okay. He brought the subs in, but if I was his partner, I wouldn't have known and I might be bringing the ball in when the subs are being changed. Gotcha. Big strong whistle, boop, and it's just a, just a boop, boop. So if he makes the foul, he goes table side, right? So whoever makes the foul will go table side to take that position as the new trail, right? Yep. And then as if you were the trail here, you'd go and administer the free throws. And with both of you, you always try to box in all of the players in between you. So you're on one side, he's on the other side, and you want to keep all the players kind of in between you when you referee. <laughs> now, that partner should have should have mirrored the three-point signal. Travel is up on top. Where does the ball go then when I spot the ball? Yes. And they took it underneath. That's important because that's a whole, look how far that is, right? And if I...
Okay, did you see what happened? Yeah, 23. Yes, that should have been, because what, he just took him out. Okay guys, we just had two issues, right? One here, the guy pushed, when you look at the video, that's, that had to be a whistle. Probably, if you look at it, probably an intentional foul. Now, the kid didn't get the foul, he came back and he took out the other guy. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see things now that you don't want in a game, right? You're gonna get, Kids that are angry, yeah, the kids that are going to retaliate. Yep. It kind of, you know, sometimes you think about it as a player, right? Cup. If you were a player and that happened to you, would you have been pissed? You'd have been mad, right? What happened? So you know that's a foul. Yeah, but that was like right in front of him, right? It was, where was he looking at? Especially when there's people on the floor, you gotta know why they got there. And there's gotta be a call. Especially if there's a dribbler, the ball person with the ball, and he goes to the ground, something happened. way too close to the table. He should be like right in the middle. We got white 32 blonde hair or whatever and then get out of there. They're like you're way too close to the table. They're just mauling them. Can you just see what about there's four fouls right there, right? There's another foul. They're just going to get aggressive until it's calling. So that's what they're saying. Over call, you know? When, you, when you're out there, don't not blow your whistle. Blow it, blow it, blow it. going to do is that we're going to, the second half, I'm going to work the second half, and each one will come in at 10 minute mark, okay? There's a...
should have been a foul. Why did he rotate over on the other side? Yeah. Why is he moving over for the lead, right? He's in what we call a quicksand underneath the basket. You don't want to be there. You want to be on that side of the lane looking in, getting an angle. Okay. The only time you really would go in there is if there's a drive going in the middle and there's a lot of bodies, right? And you need to see that kind of contact. But All right, again, you're way too close to the table. It's 18 to 17. So all the mechanics we talked about, reporting the number and where we put our hand positions and everything you just throwing out the window because you're going over and talking to the table and you're not able to be in a position to show that off. Tyler, I think that's his name. You're showing way too many mechanical stuff. You were showing him block, block. What happens if he had a charge? What happens if he had something different than you? If you're not the calling official, you don't want to give out signals of anything. And if there's a block, you don't need to go with your hands tap, 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 like there was a block. That's way too much. Okay, we got a jump ball. Okay, we're under one minute. Now, I don't know if he picked up his foot or not. OK, 
We didn't have a whistle on that, guys. If somebody had to have a whistle to blow that ball dead. Nope. You don't, you don't go on that side with it. Who's under the lead? Who's under the basket now? Nope, yeah. okay. So we're going to tell him, stay there. Yeah. Right, come here. Mm -hmm. Bounce the ball to him and then get underneath the basket, all right? There you go. Okay, first things first, who's got the ball coming in? Whose ball is it? We want to make sure, so let's check with the table. Okay, let's ask them, because the arrow's pointing for red unless they switched it. So did we switch the arrow yet? So white ball's coming in? Okay. All right, we'll give them the ball here. All right, a couple of things. You'll hear on the video, right? So I think it was you. When you were coming up, this kid right here just launched another kid into the on the floor. Did you see that foul? Okay. Because I'm wondering why. I mean, it, there wasn't too much in front of you. And then what happened was that kid that got pushed, when they were down there, he just, boom, went after the kid, and he went down on the ground, right under there. And that was like right in front of you, and that should, when we get people on the ground, especially if somebody has a ball, there's a foul. You know, we didn't call it. This one you'll see on tape, right? Man, just threw him. And then uh, that would have been at least a minimum of foul, but if you would have seen it right, it would have been intentional foul. And then all of a sudden now they're getting chippy and they're beating the crap out of each other because we're missing a lot of fouls. Lake Country Lutheran, a pretty good team. They're, they're pretty respectful, you know? So they're good kids. They're not gonna fight back like that, like maybe some other teams. So what we're gonna do in this half, all right, is that I am gonna work with you. At the 10 minute mark, you come in for him. Okay. All right, so you look. At the 10 minute mark, don't worry about a dead ball. Just get to, like if he's going down to be the lead and it's the 10 minute mark, just go, hey, I got you. And then you take over then, all right? So we're not gonna wait for that. And what I want you to watch is walking the line as we talked about, right? I want you to see my only place in the trail here is I have this line from the jump circle here to the 28 foot. I make every call on this path. Okay, depending on where the ball is. And then I'm not all over the place, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm minimizing my energy, really, yeah. because I know where that ball is. If the ball's over there, I'm up high, the ball goes down, I need to be down here on the 28 foot mark to get all the rebounds. Because right now, both of you guys, when the ball's going up, you're right here, right? So I need to work your way down and yeah. the shot's going up? Well, the no, you, if the shot is like way over there, then you're here, yeah. right? But if it's up here, you want to be over here and get out of the way, right? Okay? So watch that when we do that, all right? How I'm going to work from here to there based on where the ball is, all right? Now, blow the whistle. You see contact, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, because we're not blowing the whistle. I'd rather have you blow the whistle and, and say, ah, oh, man, that was, was that really a foul or not? I'd rather have that happen than not blowing the whistle and when there was a foul. Right. So you see contact or whatever, let's get used to blowing the whistle a little bit more. You're way too close to, this is where you should be, right here. White, 24, push. So all the mechanics that you worked in, you don't show it because you're like, what? You're way up there, and there, there's no way they can see you, right? But this is about as close, you know, here to here, whatever, is about you want to get close to that table. So we're going to work on that one. And 
And then, um, and then we'll have a lot of questions. I'm gonna keep the, hold on to that. Just remember we're live. Don't say anything too bad. Yeah, no, <laughs> there was one time Wolfo came over by me and he was saying stuff and I was like, oh, that's a <laughs> And it was on, there I go, oh my God. Check it out. He's listening to it and he's going, oh, oh God, I'll get rid of that. Don't worry about it.
Casper, yes.